Hey Jim. So today I'm gonna come in with a little bit of, of how to. So today we're gonna sh I'm gonna show you how to sew on a button. Um, a lot of you know this might seem like common sense on how to sew a button, but it can be kind of tricky if you don't know what you're doing, don't know how to thread your needle. So this is how to thread and thread your needle and sew a button on. I'm not gonna be using correlating colors because I want you guys to see how it's done. But uh, when you sew on a button, you want to get something that matches your garment and um, thread that matches your garment. So what you're going to need is you're going to need your garment or piece of clothing that you're going to sew a button onto, a button, some thread, and a needle. And all these you can pretty much get at Walmart or your local fabric store. They don't cost too much. So this is just if you need to sew back a button onto your pants or to your shirt you'll know how to do it and you have the tools. So let's get to it. So what, what I find helps to get the thread through the needle is that you just want to cut this at a 45 degree angle so that it has, you can't really see here, but if you cut it at a 45 degree angle, it's going to help slide through the needle just a little bit better. So you just want to cut it and then just slide it through that hole right there and then take out how much you think you'll need. Just wanna cut it. And then to lock in the end of the thread so it stays still, you wanna wrap it around your finger about three times and then kind of shimmy it down like that. And then pull it through and then there you'll, there you'll have an easy knot. And then you just wanna place your needle onto your garment wherever you want. And you want to, and then you're just going to want to push, come from underneath and then pull it through like that. And then you just want to put it on the opposite side like that. And then you're going to come in and come through the same side that you started with. And you can do this however many times you want to. I usually do it two times on each side. So there's the second. And then I'm going to come in through the opposite side right here. So that way you form an X. Like so. And then you're going to do that again just to secure that button in there. And there you have it. I went over it two times and it looks like an X. And then you want to come around to the back of the garment. And just put the needle through like that. So that way you form a... So you're going to form a hoop or a circle like that. And then you just want to bring the needle through there twice. And then you're going to form a knot. You're just going to pull on it and it just locks in that thread. You want to cut it and then there you have it. So that way you're not trying to make your own knot. There's just a knot right there and that is how you sew on a button. And so this is just for, there are buttons that only have two holes um and that's you can just do it uh, as we did the first one and don't have to do the second part and there are also bu buttons that have the hoops but this is just for your general everyday button and that's just going to help you through so yeah i hope this helps comment down below if you want to see any more simple tutorials quick fixes but i hope this helps you thank you